because it feels a little unseemly to be bringing somebody's wife into a political conversation. You don't want to end up like, you know, the Daily Mail, for example, who never stopped attacking Tony Blair's wife or Ed Miliband's dead father or, or Keir Starmer's disabled mother or, or, or whatever they might think is fair game. But this is about money that the family receives from a country with which we are in many ways, although not literally, we are in many ways at war. Nick's in Ilford. Nick, what would you like to say? Hi there. Um, just to refer to that text you just read, I, I do agree it's wrong to um, attack his wife. Um, no one's attacking her. They... No one's attacking his wife. So just pick up on I the Churchill point. Sorry. Take up, Pick up on the Churchill point then. How would you deal with Churchill's wife taking um, money well, out of Nazi that, Germany? That, that, that actually was a war. Uh, I think if the state has changed between um, the UK and Russia and it became an actual war, it would be different. Um, okay. It's not a war at the moment. But it somewhat relates to uh, my original point is that I think everyone sitting at those tables at the G20 is a hypocrite because Russia is still selling oil to China and China is selling that oil to the rest of the world at vastly marked up prices. Mm. I don't see the difference. Uh, really? Mm. So China's invaded Ukraine, has it? No, no, it isn't. But it's, it, we're, we're buying well, that's the oil difference. From China. Well, but China's buying oil from Russia and we're buying... Yeah, no, I, I heard, I heard what you said. China. You said you couldn't see what the difference was. So I'm just telling you, but, the difference is that China hasn't invaded Ukraine. We're not currently sanctioning Chinese oligarchs because of their associations with Vladimir Putin's murderous regime. I, I, I appreciate... No, no I understand no, your point about hypocrisy hmm. and finances, but you must understand my point when you ask me what the difference is. I'm telling you that China hasn't invaded Ukraine. But ne neither has his wife. We're t we're, we're no, but Russia has, and she's taking money out of a country that even McDonald's has ceased to do business in. No, that's correct, but we're circumventing the sanctions by no. going through oh, China. Okay. So everyone is corrupt and everyone is hypocritical, so there's no point ever taking a stand against anyone. Well, no, I think we should take a stand, but we need, against to, who, then? We need to do it from the moral, uh, the moral high ground. Against who, then? I mean, we could... Well, we can make that argument about lots of things. Why do we do... No, but I don't. I want to make it about this. Uh, what do we do about this? I don't think it's any of our business what her, what his wife does. He doesn't get to tell her what to do. She probably doesn't get to tell her family what they do. So the UK Prime Minister shouldn't be expressing an opinion on whether businesses should continue to trade in Russia? Um, no, not if it's done within but, the... But they have. The I mean, we have an actual sanctions regime in place. Do you disapprove of that because they're selling oil to China? You think it's hypocritical to sanction Russia and not China? Um, you must do, logically, mustn't you? Let me answer the question for you. Obviously you do. There are sanctions in place against Russia, but unless... But the, they're hypocritical, aren't they? Because we're not sanctioning China. Um, well, I think we're hypocritical because we're buying oil through China. Well, you've already absolutely. said that, but I'm pushing you to the point about Russia being sanctioned and that being hypocritical because they're selling oil to China. Well, I, I personally think the sanctions against Russia only hurt the people. They don't really affect... So you're um, opposed to sanctions as well? The government. I'm not opposed. And you're opposed to the UK well. Prime Minister expressing a view on whether businesses should be trading with a country that's mounting an illegal war in Ukraine. Is, is there any action against Russia that you'd approve of? Um... I, I think the world coming together in, in, legi in a legitimate way... Um, Keep, yeah, just just an example of that. Is there any action against Is there any action against Russia you'd approve of? Um, I think we're getting yeah, close. To, it, I think we're getting it, close it, to it here, Nick, aren't we? Is there any action at all? Is there any action at all against Vladimir Putin's Russia that you'd approve of? Uh, yes, if it's effective. And Go it's on, give me an example then. I don't know. I'm not. Uh, it, it, so I'm nothing not you can think of against Vladimir Putin's Russia as he mounts an illegal war in Ukraine, kills and rapes civilians in their thousands, nothing you can think of would be an effective counter to that. Well, OK, let's talk, let's talk about... No, 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 no. just let, let's answer the question I'm asking, I'm gonna, champ. Come on. I'm going to answer the question. Go on, then. We've, we've Give me an example of something you'd approve of. But I, I approve with the sanctions as far as oil goes, but we need to... No, you don't? You think they're through. hypocritical? Well, they are hypocritical, so we should... So you approve of hypocrisy now? now. No, we should stop. Well, we should stop buying oil from China. Okay, there it is. That'll teach Russia a lesson. Twenty-eight minutes after ten is the time. Raymond's in Oxbridge. Raymond, what do you think? Uh, I think that you, you uh, reverted back to the Victorian age. 
that her husband should decide what a wife invests in. Yes. Well, you mustn't invest in them, dear. Yeah. You know, I, I really don't understand your attitude. I, I don't know what your socialist friends would think of your attitude to women, if that's the case. OK, shall I, shall I talk you through it? I mean, it was a pretty lengthy introduction, Raymond, but if you need a little bit more clarity, I'm more than happy to, to, to oblige. So McDonald's have stopped trading in Russia as part of an international attempt to exert pressure upon Vladimir Putin's regime as a way of both undermining his war project in Ukraine and attacking his prestige on the international stage. The British, yes, I know that. The and British, I the British, know the British, pri- no, mate, you can't... You, companies have stopped the, investing. Yes, the British Prime Minister's wife's point. company, the British Prime Minister's wife's so family company is still trading in Russia, and I think we can all, can't we comfortably disapprove of that? I don't think so. So you don't think we should be sanctioning it's any a companies? It's relationship between a man and his wife. No, but it isn't, is it, Raymond? It's a relationship between Vladimir Putin and a massive business from which and she uh, profits. what massive business would allow a 1% shareholder to decide when, and when not to uh, close their uh, We got there in the end, didn't we? So why doesn't she surrender the shareholding in protest at the business being done in Russia? In, well, independently, I'm not suggesting for a, I'm not there. suggesting but for a minute point. that her husband should make that decision for her, but it rather undermines his position on the world stage if there's money coming into the family bank accounts from a country that he's claiming should be treated as persona non grata on the world stage. Who said it was a family bank account? Can they not have separate? Uh, they, they, they may well have separate bank accounts, but until clarity is provided, the the, the problem remains. Do you understand the problem now? I understand. Well, there you go. This is public service broadcasting at its finest. Thomas Watts is here now with your headlines.